we've got um, these uh, key results and for each one the idea is to select which area within DevRel is supposed to be uh, responsible or accountable or consulted or informed as per the RACI matrix methodology. Um, this is to define who the, the R column is the one that matters most and the A, C and I columns, they're just there really to help um, the R to plan for the task and how they're going to approach uh, doing it. So the other thing is that the DevRel team, you know, has these sub areas within it. So I've defined them as core components, marketing, education, success and community. So these are areas within DevRel and your DevRel team may not actually have you know, one person for each of these. They might have multiple people in one of the areas and none on the other. And maybe some of them will have a half headcount, like maybe dev community will be um, sometime pitched in by someone who does de dev marketing. Um, and then the other half of it is pitched in by someone who does dev education or something. That, that's, a, that's an example. So the idea here is not to assign it to people, but to assign it to functions. Um, the other thing is that uh, there can also be contributions from teams that are outside of the DevRel team. So, you know, larger functions across the rest of the organization. So I put in a few here in the, in the selection, uh, that reflect the teams that are available or present within tech companies. The big ones usually are marketing, product and engineering. And then the ones you tend to interact with less often are legal and HR. And there's probably a few others as well. Um, what happens is when you're planning for DevRel uh, key results, you are expecting the responsible column to mainly be the DevRel sub-function areas. Um, and that's why we go, go into more detail because otherwise um, everything in the R column is likely to be just DevRel. So that's why we want the sub-functions. And then you'll see the remaining, the remainder of them accountable, consulted and informed. You'll see those being filled in also by the DevRel function uh, sub-function areas, but also uh, typically you'll often see marketing product and engineering appearing somewhere here as well. So let's begin. All right. So I've done filling in the RACI matrix effectively for all of these, um, all, all, all the key results. Now, one of the things that I would point out here um, in terms of like planning versus actual execution of the key results in terms of tracking it throughout the time period, for example, a quarter, is that um, in an actual RACI matrix, you can, it's not a single select, right? You can have multiple functions or uh, multiple things responsible or accountable, consulted and informed, right? So in this case, you're constrained to only selecting one. And the idea here is that this is relevant for planning, right? Rather than actual tracking. When you are actually tracking and when you get into the details, right? You won't even, uh, you shouldn't actually be assigning the responsible party for, for the key result to a team or a sub team or a sub function in this case, right? You should be assigning it to an individual person, i.e. that person's name, right? But that will, that gets into tracking rather than planning of your key results. So I would actually say that this is, um, this, this is something that you would do uh, as an intermediate stage and then later on come up with the individual names and sometimes you can put in multiple names. So just wanted to point that out. Another thing that I would like to point out here is that my methodology typically is select the responsible as just one particular team, right? By default and their areas like kind of make sense. So like core components is done by core components and marketing responsible is by marketing education by education, dev success by dev success, so all several sub practice areas. Now, one exception is that when I thought about it, right, if you take a look at the work that actually needs to be done, right, I would say um, 
I was thinking about this increase the number of developers to open the CTA. So that's basically a, a click through rate optimization or something like that, right? So I will add an additional note here saying, um, so um, a, a B testing with iterations. So in this particular case, right? So you want to do some marketing techniques, like for example, you know, you want to play different ads to different segments and see which ones perform better. Um, you want to do the same with your emails. You want to like, uh, you basically, you want to you want to find what works and double down on that, and then discard the stuff that doesn't work, and then do more experiments and iterate repeatedly that's something that i would say dev marketing should uh sort of um, let the let the marketing team handle because they've got um you know more expertise in that area so you know in most cases you, it will kind of follow the same pattern that i just described but in some cases it makes more sense to switch it around now typically when you see where you do see the wider organization like marketing product and engineering, right? Typically where you do see that is in the informed column. That's where you tend to see it quite a lot. All right, so that's it for the racing matrix.